she used to concoct exotic clothes for Greek nightclub singers. Now, Valentina's workshop in Athens' poorest suburb is dedicated to sprinkling a little stardust on Europe's most downtrodden people. This, though, is no frivolous mission. Κατάλαβα ότι για να αλλάξω αυτή τη φιλή έπρεπε να ξεκινήσω από τα μωρά παιδιά. Διαφορετικά δεν γινόταν η παρέμβαση. Είναι νέα παιδιά, διψάνε για να μπορέσουν να αλλάξουν τον τρόπο ζωής τους. Έχουν όνειρα. Ε, οι κοπέλες δεν μπορούν να προχωρήσουν γιατί τα παντρεύουν μικρά τα κορίτσια και αυτό είναι στόχος μου να αλλάξω και αυτό το θέμα. Να πηγαίνουν 18 και πάνω να παντρεύονται τα κοριτσάκια. By creating a line of affordable, trendy clothes, Valentina believes she'll give Roma girls the ability to blend into a discriminatory, image-conscious society, as well as the confidence to challenge Roma traditions that limit women's opportunities. Roma children have been dealt a lousy hand by the accident of birth. It's virtually impossible to break out of the cycle of poverty and prejudice. There are about 300,000 Roma in Greece. That represents 3% of the population. And according to non-governmental organizations, Greece has got one of the worst reputations in Europe for integrating the Roma. Little wonder then that Roma girls are looking for an escape route and grabbing the hope that Valentina is offering them. Marina Garaguni is luckier than most similar girls in that she lives in a house and not a shack, but she dreams of breaking out of the Roma ghetto. Θα ήθελα να έχω άλλη ζωή από ό,τι, έχει, από ό,τι έχουν οι γονείς μου και οι φίλοι μας. Θα ήθελα να έχω άλλη, άλλη ζωή, πιο καλύτερη. Το καλύτερο, καλύτερη από μας. Valentina's efforts will hopefully help her get an education, a nice house, a good family and make her dreams come true. One downside of this project is that Roma men have found Valentina's models irresistible and some have swapped the catwalk for a wedding dress. So, as she tries to change a culture which is alien to most Europeans, Valentina knows she must tread carefully. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Athens.